Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we have something really important and urgent to talk about. The five iPhone settings that I suggest you change right now on your device because your device might be at a huge risk of losing of course your device and your data but as well as getting locked out out of your apple id well of course you have all your data stored so it's really really important that you do this right now because it's actually quite serious now apple did make a statement about this but there's still no solution so make sure you go ahead and change these five settings to make sure that nothing bad will happen to your device and your data as well now there have been a lot of cases that have been reported about this happening anyone that might have access to your device or knows your password or maybe just watches you entering the passcode to your device and then gets the phone from you they can easily go into your settings go to the top of the settings app to your apple id and then go to password and security and right here all they have to basically do is tap on change password and here they will have to enter the passcode of your device so if they know the passcode of your device which most of the time for most people will actually be just a four digit passcode then they will be able to actually change the password to your apple id and of course let me just enter the passcode here and of course this will let them have access full access to your icloud account you have their photos you have maybe your notes your emails whatever you have there your messages everything is on their hands and they can just change the password so they will be able to actually log in now into your apple id but not you you will be locked out and with this here once they change the passcode they can change also basically the find my phone settings and turn them off so you won't be able to actually track your device at all which is really really risky so here's what you need to do to actually prevent this before of course apple moves on and releases an update to fix this problem and have more security when it comes to changing the icloud passcode so the first thing I would suggest you guys do is go ahead and change the passcode to your device. Now having a four digit passcode, I know it's more convenient. You can just type like four numbers and you're into your device, but that's quite easy to guess. Someone might guess it based maybe on your birthday or something like that, a day that someone uses, or maybe just watch you enter that passcode. Four numbers is not that hard, of course, to watch and understand what's the passcode of a person. So what I suggest you do, the first thing, head on to settings go under face id and passcode and here go to change your passcode and make sure you change it to something more secure maybe like a six digit number or maybe a password with actual letters which will be really really hard for someone to guess or just look at and of course know your passcode the second setting i suggest you always make sure you have enabled is face id to unlock your device so when you have your face id enabled make sure that you have it face id for unlock itunes and app store autofill and everything else make sure you use face id and touch id if you have a device with touch id all the time that way of course you don't need to use your password in public so no one can actually take a look at your passcode and maybe later get a hold on of your device and just change everything which is actually very risky because you will have your data maybe your financial apps and all that and that will be of course a huge risk the next thing you want to do to make sure that no one will be able to actually have access to your iCloud settings is turn on screen time if you don't have it turned on turn it on from here and make sure you have a passcode enabled so set passcode here if it says change screen time passcode you already have one but if it doesn't say it will say here create a passcode so you create a passcode and then go to content and privacy restrictions here make sure you have this enabled and then scroll down here where it says password changes and account changes and you can see once you do this it will ask you for your screen time passcode which of course is better not to be the same as the iphone password because of course if someone gets your phone's passcode they will be able to unlock this as well so tap on don't allow there and then go to passcode changes and do that as as well and you will notice here once i go to the top of my settings it will actually be grayed out so i won't be able to access the settings 
of my iCloud at all of course once I want to do that I need to change something I can just go ahead and disable the settings that we just enabled under screen time and then of course once you're done with anything you had to do make sure you re-enable them and this will actually work quite well because it will remove the ability to change your password on iCloud and have access to your iCloud settings even if you go to something like the App Store here so if I go here you can see it will show me my updates my purchased apps but it won't show me here the section where I can actually log in into my iCloud here so everything will be way more secured and another thing you can do and this is for your actual like bank information or basically anything that you have to do with financial apps the best way to actually protect these is to just use a password app where you can protect and save of course your passwords that doesn't have anything to do with the iphone password so of course if you use an app like one password or something like that that will actually be way more secure because you will have maybe face id to actually protect that app or just have another passcode that is not the same as your iPhone's passcode. That way, of course, your passwords for your other apps like banks and things like that will be way, way more secure than having everything set up with one passcode, which would be the iPhone's passcode. And that would be, of course, very, very risky for all your information and data. And as you can see right and last but not least, let's just take a quick look here at the response by Apple regarding this problem. So according to them, they're always investigating additional protection against emerging threats like this one. So basically, we will most likely see like an update from Apple pretty soon, just like to have more security on this part. Maybe when you want to have access to your Apple ID at the top of your settings app, have to use your face ID or something like that in order to actually be able to change something or just have a way like more security or another layer of security when it comes to changing the password of your iCloud account, which is of course really, really important as most iPhone users will have something stored on their iCloud account. So of course, you don't want anyone to have access to there. So that's basically it for this video, guys. If you're using an iPhone, please make sure you go ahead and check your settings and make sure you have these settings enabled because you never know when you can actually lose everything that you have on your iPhone. Things happen and of course you might be out somewhere and just not really being like careful with your phone and something bad can happen so it's better safe than sorry. So make sure you go ahead and change these settings on your iPhone and stay safe. That's it for this video guys and I will see you on the next one.